Lesson 1, Unit 4, Principles of Resource-Based Management. Principles are the values, standards, or basic characteristics that serve as a foundation for resource-based management. This is a list of some of those core principles that are part of the RBM approach. They serve as the basis for sound performance management, and they are applicable at all levels of a development initiative. The principles are partnership, accountability, continuous learning, transparency, simplicity, and flexibility. RPM has to be built on mutually beneficial partnership relationships that are based on trust among the key stakeholders involved in the project. An effective partnership recognizes the different and complementary roles of all actors. The degree of beneficiary participation as partners in the project is encouraged but will vary according to circumstances surrounding the context of the project. Participation of partners and key stakeholders is not only important during the design and planning of the project, but also during the implementation, monitoring, and evaluation of the project. This is the only way to develop a robust project design with relevant objectives and results. Participation builds a sense of ownership of the results. Accountability is sharing responsibilities within the partners. In RPM, participative decision-making is important, as well as clearly defining each party's responsibilities and tasks. The organizations, local authorities, partners, and other key stakeholders have responsibilities in the project, depending on their level of intervention and decision-making authority. Establishing the appropriate level of accountability concerning the results change is context dependent. As a general principle, the more control and ownership the key stakeholders have over the developed intervention, the greater the potential for demonstrating attribution and thus assuming accountability for development results, especially at the outcome and the impact level. RBM integrates the learning cycle. Learning by doing strengthens capacities, improves the quality of projects, and helps obtain better results. The learning cycle is inclusive. It's not just about the leading organization that learns and improves, but everyone involved in the project. Partners and beneficiaries are empowered through learning and participation, and gradually see how important the role is, and as a consequence, they take up more responsibilities. Continuous improvement through applied learning is one of the key motivations behind the adoption of the RPM approach. RPM facilitates learning by providing information to decision makers. Continuous learning uses the plan, do, check, and act cycle to improve the project intervention. This approach creates opportunities for learning at all levels to continuously improve the project. Decision makers are informed by valid and reliable performance information, resulting in increased efficiencies and effectiveness. Transparency is necessary to ensure that the benefits of RBM are fully realized. Clarity is needed in defining the respective roles and responsibilities of key stakeholders in the project. Appropriate disclosure of the methodologies used to collect valid and reliable performance indicator, data is critical to meeting the reporting obligations. Broad dissemination and active discussion of performance indicator, including progress made towards the achievement of outcomes, lesson learnings, and proposed adjustments, help enhance stakeholder ownership and organizational learning. The RPM approach is significantly weakened in an environment that lacks transparency. Transparency is built into each stage of the RBM development project lifecycle, from selection, design, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation, using clear criteria for the selection of solutions, disclosing information, and publishing reports on project progress to all the stakeholders. Using well-designed indicators makes it possible to give a clear image of what the project is doing and where it is going. Transparency not only for the donors, but also transparency to partners and beneficiaries. Simplicity is one of the keys to successful RBM implementation. 
rather than focusing on a core set of expected results, the tendency has been to design complex result change. This approach significantly increases the number of performance indicators required to produce reliable performance information. In this situation, data collection, analysis, and reporting can take a large amount of resources and management attention. The key is to keep only the necessary results and indicators for continuous monitoring across the entire results chain. RBM uses a strategy that is easy to understand and easy to put into practice. RBM uses a number of simple tools to help the project design, project management, and achieving the project results. For RBM to be successful, it needs to be understood by all stakeholders involved. That includes partners and beneficiaries. If they don't understand the project, they will not be able to support it. Lack of understanding can create a lack of ownership and participation. RBM should be sufficiently flexible to be applied in a broad range of circumstances. Governments, donor agencies, and international development organizations have applied RBM in order to satisfy their unique organizational needs. There is no one model or standard of RBM. The circumstances, context, and focus determine the approach an organization will take in applying RBM in its operations. Flexibility means that it also needs to accommodate to the changes that occur from the external environment, changes that provide with opportunities to improve the project intervention. RBM adapts itself to different contexts and different types of projects. It's even possible to introduce RBM into projects that are already running. The cyclical approach allows for opportunities to review and improve the project. The complex environment and challenging conditions of development projects require a flexible and cyclical approach. Every cycle is an iteration that provides information to determine the areas that can be improved in the project. Successful implementation of RBM is dependent on the organization's ability to create a management culture that is focused on results. It requires more than the adoption of new administrative and operational systems. An emphasis on outcomes requires a results-oriented management culture that will support and encourage the use of the new management approaches. These principles can help organizations adopt RBM and move away from the focus on managing and measuring inputs and activities and creating an enabling environment where RBM can be effectively implemented.